Oh my god. The fantastic transition. Someone hired me for the Brawlhalla production team. One man army. I used to team with Java and we got fourth place, which was like our best twos placement because Java, like me and him, would get like seventh a lot. So we got like fourth or third during still series twos. And then I missed the Royale, or not the Royale, I missed the midseason championship. And then he dropped me for Megdi for like no reason. And then me and Hardy teamed and then we beat Java and Megdi. It outplaced them. Happens to the best of us. People forget, like, even though it's a fighting game, bro, it's, like, still a business, kind of, where it's, like, you, you will get dropped by some people. If you're in, a, if you're in like, an esports team, you might get dropped by the team if you're not placing well. If your teammate wants to team with someone who's better than you, they will drop you. That's just life. That's really just life. The only thing you can do is just be better. It's an unfortunate world we're put in. Fighting games aren't fair. Well, yeah, like, it makes sense why Snowy dropped Hideaway, because Hideaway wasn't performing. He would get nervous. He would fold. And Boomy was trying to come back, and they literally won BCX. So, like, it makes sense. It's just that two days before is, like, disingenuine. But it's, like, like I said before, like, niggas don't give a fuck about anyone, bro. In this game, bro, people will not give a fuck about you, bro. Your 2v2 teammate, unless that's, like, your homie, he's not going to give a fuck about you, bro. Like, you're getting dropped within the, within the first tournament because people in this game don't believe in the, the thing of, like, improvement. They don't believe in improvement and getting better together as a team. They're just like, nah, bro, you sold me? We're done. We're never going to try to fix the gaps in our play style and grow more nah i'm just gonna drop you like i remember hack said this not that hack is the best example because you know he's like he has crazy allegations in the melee industry or the melee scene but it's like he said you're only as important as your last placement and that is very true especially in brahala in a game like raw where most of the pros are a bit younger you really are only important as your last placement and i've i've experienced this firsthand on numerous occasions because, chat, you guys know how I be. Like, I can I can keep saying y'all know how I be because I've streamed so much recently that y'all know everything about me. Like, you guys know that I can go from 25th place to winning a major within, like, five seconds. Like, I just, sometimes I just don't try. Like, it's just, it's very hard to try or focus. And, like, y'all know how I be. So, like, you guys have faith in me because you guys know that, like, I can, I can bounce back from, like, basically anything because I have multiple times. Because, like, I know how I be, too. Like, so, like, when I do bad in tournament, I know that it's just, like, okay, I, my head was not in the game. I have to lock in. I'll be fine. And it usually is fine. But, like, when I was placing bad, bro, I'm telling you, bro, like, literally, like, I wasn't even treated like a human being, bro. It's crazy. Like, you, you do bad one tournament and all your friends don't fuck with you no more. It's crazy. Dude, before I was a professional player, I told all my friends since I was gold, I was like, I'm going to be a pro one day. I'm going to get top eight. I'm going to beat Sandstorm. I'm going to do all this shit. I'm going to win a tournament. And I was like gold saying that shit. And my gold friends would glaze me because I was like low diamond. So they were like, bro, Witty is insane. So every time I would beat like a pro, my, my gold friends would glaze me. And that's why all the pros didn't like me because like my friends would glaze me. <laughs> that's why I didn't get into rank S when I was younger because they didn't like how I had like a bunch of fans. But they were just my friends. I do clutch up, but I, I clutch up because I'm playing bad the entire set. Because I, I think of it differently. I don't get nervous when I'm at last lock red. Because like, why why be nervous at, <coughs> at last lock red? There's no room. There's no room to be nervous at last lock red. The reason why I clutch up so much is because I get nervous during the actual beginning of the game. Because in the beginning of the game, you don't know which way it can go. It's either way. So you're like, oh fuck. Like, am I gonna win? or Am I not gonna win? Like, I have like too much control over the situation, so I get nervous because. I, I'm not, I'm like too scared of the game being in my hands. So, so like I'm playing the game and we're both like three stocks white and I get nervous because it's like I could fuck up here. And like I could lose this game for myself if I fuck up, if I, if I mess up. How about you mess up? Yeah, but it's like if I mess up. Then I get nervous, I play bad. Then they start beating my ass. And then when I get to Lost Dog Red, it, there's no, there's no room to be nervous. There's no more like it could go bad. It is bad. There's only one option here. Like, I can't even be nervous because it's just like, I'm going to lose. The game is already lost unless I do something, basically. So there's, there's no more, like, it could go either way. It's already going one way. And it's just, like, stopping it from going that one way. The thing is, when I was fighting Kaina, I knew I could win. I still knew I could win. I didn't give up. I still thought if I just catch his dodge here with, like, a spear and air, I can still win the game. Because I had, like, a really big flow chart. Like, I had, like, his whole game plan figured out. It was just, like... Hitting that one spear neutral air where I was like, okay, I can hit one in there and I'll know exactly what he's going to do. Because, like, the pace will be in my favor. But, like, it's, it's, it's more just, like, I can still win and there's just no room to be scared of anything. Because it's just, like, you're already last stock fucking barbecue sauce HP. Like, you're, like, you're not really supposed to win the game. 
but it's like I, I get pressured because I'm like if I if like the game just started and like it's the beginning of game five it's like every neutral interaction I do here could be bad or good the game starts it's game five you guys are both white three stocks it's like I could just sell this right here if I misspace this I'm fucked if I commit to a attack first I might be fucked too if they're like trying to bait me out like what do I do then you get nervous because like it's all in your hands it's all in your hands and like it's like you don't know what's supposed to happen you don't know like the the uncertainty is what makes you nervous but when you're losing it's just like you know how this is supposed to go now and the, the pressure just leaves your body so chat this is the flow state graph so like this like corner right here this is flow state this little corner so you have to have the challenge has to be high and your skill level also has to be high so you have to be good as fuck but the challenge has to be also just as good or even harder than your skill level which is why it's not something that you can just do you can't just activate flow state fighting a shitter that doesn't work like your body has to be like in some shit where it's just like this person is just as good as you or like they can actually beat you you, you cannot lock in against a noob the most important thing here is that your skill level has to be high people forget this part some people think that they can just be medium skill level and activate flow state against someone who's like already way better than them like no it's not gonna do shit for you you have to already be like high skill level you can't just lock that shit in not everyone could just unlock that shit you have to be a certain skill level to even activate flow state in brahala or just anything like for example if you're like a if you do like gymnastics or some shit right and you have to do a fucking backflip and some crazy ass flip right some people that do shit like that activate flow state but if you if you're like have never done a flip before it doesn't matter how locked the fuck in you are you're not doing that flip oh my disher kid check hit god bless Yo, God bless district kid, man. All there is to, to improvement is just the thinking, the critical thinking stuff. Yeah, basically. It's critical thinking, but there's like some things that cannot be taught. Critical thinking is good, but I know people who can critically think all they want, but they cannot apply anything because they don't have that, that dog in them, bro. Some people don't have, like, I don't know what it is, but there's something that people just don't have. And some people do have, like, like that inherent thing. I guess it's what some people would call the Brahala talent, the gene. For example, like, like Luna. Like... He doesn't like think that much. He just has like very good intuition. Like being able to apply some shit instantaneously and like know when to do it. Like, yeah, like the mechanical skill, you can learn mechanical skill though. But like, it's mainly just like the, that like good intuition, like going for reads that might not make sense, but they work. He explained like a professor teaching university level engineering course. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. And Paula explains shit and it makes no fucking sense. That's how you know he's autistic for real. You'll ask him about some shit and he'll like start talking about like bubbles and like random terminology. He'll be like, yeah, bro. So when you move like this, it's kind of like a torpedo and like the the shape and like the kind of like the, he just starts like waffling, bro. He just gets a waffling. But I I'm a good translator. I've known Paul for long enough to like a point where he could say some bullshit and I would know exactly what he's talking about. Wait. Oh my God. Wait. He's, he's doing lava drop combos on me. No. I'm getting put in a, in a space cadet. Pavelski edit. I'm cooked. Chill, bro. Never give up. Someone asked me what, what, like, what the best tip is for once, never give up. And I'm going to prove it to you right here. Never give up, chat. It's never over until it's actually over. And even when it's actually over, it's not actually over. Hold on, I got to wait, I got to log in. Lava's here. No! Yes! 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 Dodge away. Ensign, lava! No, the platform saved him! Fuck, fuck, fuck! I lost. I tried my best, chat. I'm sorry. Imagine flexing 13 plates on golds. How else am I going to glaze myself? Y'all don't do it. Y'all don't glaze me. I have to glaze myself. I Sandstorm gets 13th. You're my glorious king. You just weren't trying. I get 13th. Put that shirt back on, nigga. <laughs> okay. 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 I, I turn on pick up a lie attack. I can't even leave the game properly. I can't even leave the fucking game properly. Is it really over for me? not bad though that's kind of crazy hold on give me that 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 wait he's sniping me he's he's, he's back for more <laughs> he's back for more <laughs> he won the, the the fucking star wars game and now he's like back for for glory give me this wake up breed why is that true like that why is the chase odd version true Please, Lord Jesus, give me this win. The D-Light. Oh my god. Give me it. Hell yeah. I can't say that. Praying on a 2D flash game is crazy. 
Hey, bro, don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> you seem happy today, something special? No, <laughs> no, nothing at all, actually. I'm actually descending into more madness, that's why I'm laughing. My initial reaction to when I'm like not when I'm like losing my mind is to laugh extremely hard. They say laughter is the best medicine. Who said that though? Like who really said that? Boomy really used to leave the game mid sig, bro. Like bow down bow down sig, he would hit the bow D sig and just leave. Deal our recovery, hit the hit the recovery, then just leave as the recovery's happening. So that the bot basically killed you with their recovery. But I remember one time, bro. This this is like no cap, bro. I fought Boomy in ranked, and he tried that shit on me, and I left the game at the exact same time that he left the game, and none of us got, none of us gained any elo. I, I canceled the game. Look at him. Look at him dodging up on me. Oh, hammer sair. Hammer sair. D-sig. 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 <laughs> no, you all saw the read. I didn't have my dodge back yet. D sig, D sig. Wait, he's reading me for being aggressive. I think he might get D sig here. Not too sure. Chat, what sig? What sig was it again? Um, three elo. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Three elo. Three. NA is cooked, bro. Come here. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run, bro. Don't run. Don't run. No, don't run. Don't, don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Did I get one elo? I think I got like one elo. Oh, I got two elo. Nice. This is one more than one. <laughs> that was enough rank for the day. Shout out to Ryan. If you play Ryan, you're very cool. Chat, this is why you guys have to practice your ledge cancels. This is why you have to practice your ledge cancels. Practice every day. Hop in training mode on the platform map. Practice your ledge cancels, buddy. Practice the ledge cancels. I would have never gotten this ground pound if my ledge cancels weren't good. You gotta hop in that training mode. Just get the get the ledge canceling, bro. Get get that practice on that on those dashes where like you jump, hit that double jump dash off that. That double jump dash, double jump dash. Hit that. You gotta be in the lab. Practice your your ledge cancels. You know what I'm saying? Practice them. Practice them. Practice. Practice. Can we add fishing port? This is my favorite map in the game. Let's make the um, let's make the map pool have more maps in it, and let's add a fishing port. Let's start with fishing port. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. This map could be iconic as fuck. This looks like some map you would go to on like BCX Grands on some like try hard shit, you know? Like this map is cold, bro. Like this map is crazy, bro. It looks so cool, bro. Like look, this is like this is great map design, bro. This map is so fire. Is eight maps really enough? Not enough. We need more than eight maps. Give us like 15, 12, something like that, bro. Just add, give us small broad haven, give us fishing port, give us like, I don't know, bruh. Add fucking Galvin Prime. Actually, no, that map's fucking massive. Add Suzaku's Castle to ones. Add, um, Void Miner. Add fishing port. And bring back Enigma, and also bring back broad haven. Give us back Crystal Temple, bro. Do not add Void Miner. <laughs> this map is fucking huge. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, but okay, chat. These platforms are cool though because imagine you're recovering the stage, you're at red, it's grand finals, then boom, the ledge cancel onto the fucking. Pew. Tell me that shit's not cold, bro. That shit start moving. They're like. Pew, pew, pew. T tell me that shit not cold, bro. And, and then the shit moves. Now it's over here. Tell me this shit would not be a cold map on some like task, like final destination BCX 20XX type shit. Tell me that shit would not be cold, bro. Lock on Florence rooftop, go to map. Oh, wait, this map has a thing too where you can like. Chat, bro. This this little platform thing is cool. This is cool because it, it rewards you for like doing like the frame perfect input. This is a good way to reward players that are getting edge guarded for having a frame perfect timing on their on their ledge dash. This map is cool. I'll probably just spar a pro in here to see like how it actually feels. This map does look cool though. One dash and puts you in the middle of the stage is crazy. It's cool though. Chasm is cool as fuck. This map is fire. I would go here against Terra's player. I'm finding like a terrorist and they can't kill me because it's mass big as fuck. I'll go here. I'll take my time, take my space with these strong ass characters. This is a nice map. Y'all just complain too much. And I'll, by the way, chat, in tournament setting, you don't have to go here. I keep saying because you guys have the IQ of a fucking dead fish. But, um, chat, if you don't like a map, 
and it's in the rank pool, not the rank pool, but in the tournament pool, you don't have to go there. I'll say it again. If you don't like a map and it's in the tournament pool, you don't have to go there. No one's forcing you to go there. Not every map has to be good for your character. If you're a Linfei player and you're like, oh my god, the map's too big. Don't fucking play Linfei and don't go there then, bitch. It's a, it's a big map for a reason. You would go there so you don't die against a Linfei player on purpose. That's the point of the map. Not every map has to be good for your character. You entitled bitch. Like, if I'm playing Taros and someone takes me to Mammoth Fortress because they don't want to die yellow, I shouldn't be mad at that. Especially if they just lost the game and they're switching to Mammoth as a counter pick. Why would I be mad? Why should I complain about it? It's a counter pick map. I didn't have to go there either, you know what I'm saying? I could just choose to not go there. I could pick the smallest map out of the three ones that they pick. And how do I know which one's smaller? Lab it out. It's a good thing that people should look at maps like, hmm, what has the smallest kill zones? Maybe we should look into that. But yeah. A lot of people feel so entitled. They're like, bro, this map is so bad for guns. Don't fucking go there then, probably. Why does every map have to be good for your weapon? That's not fair. I feel like some maps being good for some weapons is a thing that should be normal. It happens in every other platform finding game. This map should have been a ones map. It's like a it's like a more beautiful version of Planes of Passage. Bro, imagine watching a BCX Game 10 Grand Finals on this map. This fucking beautiful ass map. Imagine, bro. Like, you see this, this sword right here? This is the Brawlhalla sword down here. Like, this is the Brawlhalla map, bro. Well, no, BMG drops the match because the player base is stupid. BMG will be like, hey, you guys want this in once? And they'll be like, no, no, don't add it in once. I want Brawlhaven part three, bro, please. Like, one thing that I'll bring up, I brought this up before on my other streams, but have you guys noticed that on canon, you can kill someone with one dodge read on every map except APOC? And maybe Western Air Temple. Maybe. And that's just maybe. Because every map is tiny as shit. Literally every map is tiny as shit. Maybe if I'm fighting a Zol player... And I don't want to get instantly boomed from one dodge punish. Maybe I'll go to um to Fabled City. Maybe I'll, I'll go to Fabled City so I can survive and not get actually boomed for, for getting dodged at one time. Like, let's say you're fighting a blasters player or a cannon player or someone with like a vertical kill option, a sword player that kills early. You're fighting seven and you don't want to get boomed by D-Light Nair at orange. So you go to a map with a big ceiling because you don't want to die yellow for that shit. Maybe you kill off the side and they kill vertically. So you're fighting a bow player who does delay recovery on, or like a Diana player who does delay recovery on guns and bow, which are both kill vertically. And you play some kind of character that, that kills from the side, like Ada or Orion or something. Some kind of character that can kill from the side pretty well. And then you go there because you go to like a map with a big sling but a small sides on purpose because you're smart about it. You know what you want with the counter pick. You know what you want. It's good for your character, but not for their character, which is why you have choices. If you play Zol, you want a small map. If, you, if you're playing against Zol, you want a big map. If you have low defense, then play a big map. If you have high strength, then play on a small map. You know what I'm saying? If, you, if you're a weak character, but you're fighting a strong character, you might want to also go to a big map. So you survive easier, but you might not kill as easier though. But it's a trade-off that you have to take to survive. If you value surviving more than dying early. It depends what you want. Learn what your character is good on. If you're playing a weapon like Scythe that can drag the opponent off the stage in one hit, then go for a small map because if you hit them with one down air, they're already off the stage. If you're playing a weapon that is very good at controlling like space, then maybe you want to go into a small map because there's less space, for, like, less space for them to go. Or maybe you want to go into a big map to give yourself more space to actually like work around people. Depends how you play and what character you play.